was really no plan. The first time I saw it, it was just lying on the back seat. I really didn't think much of it. I mean, I've seen other things like it before, but I had no idea, no idea of the trouble and the heartbreak it was going to cause. It was like five, maybe six days later, and it was in the middle of Nevada. Before I realized that it wasn't exactly what I thought. I mean, it had changed shape. And I had been feeling nervous. I, I just felt this pressure. You know, and usually I like being alone and driving far, far distances. But there, there I was just starting to feel haunted. And, and when I, I get out of the car and walk away for a bit, do, you know, whatever, and I, uh, it's like the only time I could breathe, and, hit, and I just, so I, so I pulled over, and I, I picked it up, and I, I put it on the passenger seat, and I, 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 I opened it, I opened it, and I, a thousand tiny bits, valuable as beyond gold, beyond diamonds to me, and they just sitting in this little box, and not even a good little box, I mean, for God's sake, it's my shattered dreams, it's just a crappy old cardboard box, it looks like some dog pissed on it, it's falling apart in the scene, it's got old tape clapping off of it, it's not like this old box of shattered dreams, and really nice, you know, solid iron clasp and velvet lining. Not even that. I mean, that just really kind of pissed me off. I said, who the hell, just who the fuck put all my shadow dreams in this stupid little box and left it in my car for me to find sometime when I'm alone in the middle of nowhere? I mean, what, just who and why? Driving. 
I'll never be able to spend my shattered dreams. They're not good for anything. Not good for anything, and that made me so sad. Thank you. 